I would say it's uh, actually learning a lot from him. Uh, just not really just giving too much knowledge, but he's just more like a helping hand for us uh, on and off the field as well, just giving life skills, also football. Just tell us to go out there and just pretty much have fun while you're out there doing what you love. Coach Frazier just kind of talks about the expectations of maybe Greg this year, some of the younger guys. What do you think you guys are being charged with doing this season? What do you want to do to elevate the year two? I would definitely say for me and Greg, you know, we coming in together, uh, we spend a lot of time together off the field and on the field. So it's more of us, you know, just feeding off one another. Uh, we had okay seasons last year, so it's like for building off of that, so we can have a great season. And then, you know, adding AJ into the equation as well, we're all three young guys. So that competition between all three of us, I feel like it helped us in the long run. What was the biggest thing you learned from last season, maybe taking a step, more of a step back than you maybe would have liked? I'll probably say from last year, I'll probably say you got to bring it every week. You know, rookie coming in, you probably think it's, you won't think, I won't say you think it's easy, but you ain't thinking it's hard as it was. But, you know, it's going out there that first game I played in, it's way harder than what most people think it is. So I'll probably say looking back, I definitely should have brought it pretty much every week. In the NFL conditioning program for a full year now in this offseason, what have, uh, you know, what is, has there been any change or focus on getting your body? ready for uh, this second season? Uh, I would say I mainly focus on getting my body weight down, uh, especially, you know, last year playing around 285. This year, you know, me and Siano talked a lot about, you know, getting down to the 270s. You know, I'm in the low 270s right now, so I feel like this will be a big jump from last year to this year. So you were lit, you, I think you're listed at 277, but you played in the 280s last year. Yeah, the 285. Yeah. I would say I'm very, way more comfortable now, you know, just learning the playbook. Also, you know, knowing all the guys coming in, rookie, ain't know nobody, maybe like two or three guys, but now, you know, comfortable with the guys around the locker room, everybody in the facility. So I find way more comfortable than I was last year. How have you been getting along with some of the I'll probably say, you know, playing D-line, you always going to have that bond with somebody, even if you don't know them. Uh, we're a bunch of big kids. You know, we like to have fun on and off the field. So, you know, just of having that bond with each other, it makes it a lot easier for new guys to come in and just click right away with us. Uh, I'll say Shaq, that's my dog. You know, me and Shaq, we clicked the first day we met. I uh, knew him from college, from some guys I went to school with. So, you know, I heard about him a lot. You know, then just meeting him firsthand. You know, he's a character, but it's somebody you got to love and somebody you need on a team like that, you know, to always get your energy up and be ready to play. Uh, college around high 265, low 270s. I feel like D line always has a lot of characters, but does this group stand out more so than other groups you've been with? I would definitely say, yeah, uh, we got some guys who are quiet. We got guys who are loud. So, you know, I feel like having that balance is good, you know, for any position across the field. Yep,